Okay, so AP Calculus, we're asked to find the area bounded by the graph of f of x equals the opposite of x cubed plus 6x, the x-axis, and on the closed interval, negative 2 to 2. And I'm wondering what could go wrong if I'm just going to use my calculator to do this anyway. So let's take a look at this, if you don't mind, and see what happens here. So I went ahead and put these two functions in. That is, I put in the function opposite x cubed plus 6x and the x-axis, which is f of x, uh, g of x is equal to 0, right? So it would look like this, I think. <clears throat> so I put this in here. Actually, I don't know if I put the other one in. Let's put that in as 0 here. So 0, enter. So there's the function, right? And we're asked to find the area between here, negative 2, and positive 2. So they look like they are the same size areas, don't they? We have symmetry. The problem is, if we did that, wouldn't the... Well, let's take a look at what happens. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go to Menu. I'm going to choose Calculus. And the point of this video is to show you how it goes bad, how it goes wrong. So please uh, be thinking about that. So I'm going to go to this. I'm going to analyze the graph, and I'm going to find the integral. So what I want is this. Oh, which graph? This graph right here. So the lower bound would be point on would be here. And then I'm going to drag this over to here. And if you see, it says that the integral, the area, is 0. Why would that be true? Because it looks like that we have this negative area down here and a positive area here. And what I want to make sure that we're getting is that unless we're being been asked for net area, that area will always be positive. That is to say that, the, that even though this is a negative number, the area represented by this will be the absolute value of that. So this is what's going to show up on that AP exam, and we're going to be thinking, oh my gosh, this is so easy. I can see that this is zero. Now, if they ask us for the indefinite, I'm sorry, if they ask us for the definite integral from negative 2 to 2, then that, Connor, is in fact, that it would be 0, wouldn't it? Because those pieces offset each other. But if they ask us for the area, we have to be trained to realize this. So this is not going to work that well, is it? So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to I'm going to try to figure out where this graph has a 0. And if you don't mind, because we're here anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and go to Menu. <clears throat> I'm going to analyze the graph again. And I'm going to look for intersection here, and which graph do I want? I want this graph, and this graph. And we can see that they intersect at the point zero, zero, don't they? But isn't it true that everywhere from here to here, the graph of x is equal to zero is over top of this, isn't it? So it's this graph minus that one. And from here, it's this cube function over that, isn't it? So that's what we're going to have to do when we set up this, this integral to figure this out. So this is how I'm going to do this. So now I'm going to go to this, and I'm going to set up this integral. I'm going to go to Menu, choose Calculus, right? Choose Integral, right? But we want negative 2 to what? To 0, exactly of this function and remember when we looked at it the x is equal to the, i'm sorry the y is equal to zero is on top of the other one isn't it so we're going to say that we're going to say the first function minus that second function right which is opposite x cubed plus 6x right plus 6x dx, right? So I'm going to put x here. And look, this is going to keep going from there. I'm going to put plus, whoops, holy macaroni. It didn't work well. Both dx, I'm hoping it's going to let me do this. Plus, right? Now I'm going to do the other side. And if you think about the other side, the other side was higher, wasn't it? So I'm going to go back here to menu, calculus, integral. We're going to integrate this by part. We needed to go from negative 2 to 2. So far we've gone to negative 2 to 0. So this this lower boundary is going to be 0, because in this case we only need two pieces. 2, right? And then think about this for a second. In this case, this graph is on top, isn't it? I wonder if we can go back and peek at that and still not screw this up. So this is what I'm doing. I'm saying this first piece, Greg, isn't it true that y is equal to 0 is over top of this graph on this portion, isn't it? So on the second portion, from 0 to 2, this function's on the top, isn't it? So that's what I'm saying here. Does that make sense? 
So in this case, we, this would be zero because, right? Oh, no, no, that's not true, is it? Not zero. It would be the other function. It would be the x cubed, the opposite x cubed, right? So the opposite x cubed plus 6x. And this is maybe ridiculous here, but if you can imagine that I put in here minus 0, right? Because it's on top of it, isn't it? Does that make sense? dx, and there's that area, right? So take a guess about this. Take a guess about this. Let, look at this for a second. What if we go back here and look at this picture? What do you think the area is from here to here? Yeah, right? And what do you think? The, so Connor said he thought the area from here to here was 8. I agree. And Megan, what's the this? Well, not the distance. What's the area in here? It's also 8, isn't it? But it's shows up as negative 8, but it's area, right? We can test that. Watch this. If we go back, if we agree that they're symmetrical, we can just go back and test that and say, you know what? How do I, how am I going to do that from here? Analyze the graph, right? I'm going to take the integral. And if you don't mind, I'll take the integral. This is my graph. And look at that. It is 8. And how much do you want to bet that, let's do it again. Integral from Ask me for the graph, this graph from here. Whoops, sorry. From here. Sorry. Let's do this again. Analyze graph, integral. This graph, this point. You see that negative 8 down there? So it's saying if we, took, if we had taken the absolute value of this negative 8 and added it to the absolute value of this positive 8, we would have gotten the right answer. But remember, when we tried to integrate from here to here, just one fell swoop, it came to zero, didn't it? That's what's going to happen on the AP exam, isn't it? That's what we have to be worried about. So just as long as we've had this conversation, what could go wrong?